What's good, y'all? Your boy Brandon back again. Another episode of the On Run Podcast, man. This week, internal pod, baby. We back at it. I think it's time to, it's good to take a break every now and then from having guests. Just chill out. There's been a lot happening. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's summertime, but I got the boys in the studio with me. What's good, y'all? What's happening? Good. All right. First order of business. Mm. Let's talk about these demonic ass Olympics, bro. Oh my Have y'all been why, watching? Why they gotta be demonic, bro? Yeah, like, did you the see the whole? Opening? Yeah, like the whole <laughs> intro to it. I skimmed it. I skimmed it. Yeah, like I don't know. It's just, yeah, it's, it's just really nuts. Bro. You think they put in like <laughs> messages about? <laughs> like, I, not to put my tinfoil hat on, okay. but it's like after enough shit happened, mm-hmm. like we can't really act like, oh, and it's just coincidence. You know what I mean? Yeah, the way it's, it's like. It's not even like a tinfoil hat on. It's like the like. How do you even come up with these type of ideas to be to for it not to kind of like align? You know. But I thought weird. I thought the opening ceremony was kind of commemorating like you know the history of France and the whole thing. So the Last Supper was like. I don't know. I just I don't know. Like drag queen Last Supper has nothing to do. <laughs> and, I, and then they try to they try to spin it and be like, oh, it was the the feast of like Dionysus or some like Greek god. Because like, oh, the Olympics are Greek. But it's like, bro, I we all see the imagery so vividly. Yeah. It's like you can't really walk away from it and pretend like you're not doing what you're doing. You know what I mean? You can't yeah, throw a rock at and hide your hand. See, this point. sounds y'all sounds scary. This sounds like oh my god. This is, this is, Hard metal rock band, ah, like. But at the end of the day, is it not? I know. To be fair, if it was a hard metal rock band, I'd be like, they, okay, did you know, they have a metal band playing at the the opening ceremony? I don't. I don't see that. Go pull up the clip when y'all have the time, or when you're editing this, I you'll see, see what that. I'm talking about. I'm talking about just like the yeah, actual, yeah, the, yeah, the imagery. The like, did you the watch opening, the, the full opening thing, ceremony, or shit. did you just <clears> watch <throat> what you're you're mad at? No, nah, I mean, I watched. I didn't watch the whole thing. I didn't watch yeah. it live, but I seen like okay. I went back and watched clips and read like uh, read up on it and stuff. That's how I know like both people defending stuff. And it's like to me, I don't know, bro. Like it's just really become that where you can't even enjoy shit no more because you don't even know how to feel about it. At the end of the day, it's like shit is crazy, and even if it's not crazy, it look crazy. So what yeah. the fuck I'm gonna do going to some shit that look crazy? And, and to be fair, no, the way I see it, it's like this. Like you know how like I saw a clip that was like ten years ago. They had like some person dressed up like in the like an Olympian suit, Olympian suit like I don't know back then. Mm-hmm. He had like an arrow shot up in the air with fire, uh-huh. the whole place, right? Uh-huh. Like that shit's dope. What the fuck does people out of eating at a supper have to do with anything? Like, forget imagery, forget it's art. Anything. Yeah, that but why? Art. Yeah, why? Even if it is all right. Fuck I gotta do with the Olympics, yeah, bro. It's like, LeBron I, out here yamming on motherfuckers like I don't know. Last what, okay, okay. What opening ceremony did y'all want then? If something, y'all were the something. directors of the Olympics, whatever, what y'all want? Okay, I, want I would ass. really, yeah, like some shit that actually like has to do with illustrating that. Like sport. what? Give us an example. Yeah, like bow and arrows, like people like. Pa- just pause for a second. Sure. If you're the, I want, I want to hear your Olympics opening ceremony. Go ahead. Yeah, 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 like bow and arrows. You got like people wearing like all white, like Olympian clothes. Mm-hmm. Uh, you probably got like maybe people like. All festive, whatever it may be. If you really wanted to, you could have a supper there, like celebrate like, French culture. But, but, yeah, but, it's yeah, there. Whatever it is, y'all wanted croissants this, and this was type a, shit. This was oh, a ten year, ten year anniversary for the French, right? That's why the reason we didn't uh, or LA didn't get it this year. France got it this year because they're like, hey, it's our ten or, or hundred year anniversary. 100%. My fault, hundred year anniversary. <laughs> mm-hmm. So they were like, to me, it would have been like, shoot, shit, do anything about France related because this is your hundred year anniversary. Or do anything back then for an Olympian, like like from back you then. have to imagine, right? Mm-hmm. These are like the top one percent of the top one percent of athletes in the world. Like these motherfuckers are like this is literally like if there was a real life convention for superheroes, <laughs> these people would be there. <laughs> Simone Biles jumping twelve feet in the yeah, air. She's a we got LeBron. Absolutely. We got fucking Noah Lyles yeah. fucking dash from the Incredibles and shit. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck does a supper and all this imagery, whatever? Like I get it. It's art. Cool. But what does it really have to do with what we're talking about at the end of the just, day? Y'all sound like old ladies, honestly. Like, well, how? Why are y'all mad at a... Oh, what, what, like, what is it going to do? Like, okay, they do the ceremony, it's weird, you don't like it, and then what? No, I'm just yeah, saying, like, things. why have Motherfuckers it? are still going to watch the Olympics. Sure, but I'm saying, that's not... The question is not, like, are they going to watch it or are they not? But why does it and, have to be honest, here? Honest, honestly, I'm sorry yeah. to interrupt, but, like, what can we do? Yeah, we can. Talk about it. Nah, yeah, we could talk about it. We're yeah. talking about it right now, but yeah. other, like, 
Well, how can we say, oh, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, but like if that's the this. case, what's the point of talking about anything? Because what can we do about anything? So we should just end this podcast today. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> if that's what you're saying, like, what can we do? No, I, I get I get the frustration. Even when I saw the, the opening ceremony, I was like, I was a little weirded out, but that's it. That's like at the, that's the day, point. They want you to they want you to be mad because sure. that keeps people talking. But I, I, yeah, but like up to what extent do we allow that to be a thing? Like if I came up to you, right? Uh-huh. Or I won't say you, but if I came up to like a homeless person, right? I slapped them and it's on camera <laughs> yeah, and I'm okay. like, oh my God, I'm so viral. Like, yeah, but I'm still a dickhead for like picking on homeless people. Uh-huh. Like, so even if I'm getting attention, I'm whatever, like to what, up to what extent are we going to allow this like stuff to go on? For the sake of being like, oh, but we're getting views, and we want people to watch our stuff. Thank you for changing your example, because you know, if you you, you wasn't slapping me, you know, that's what I'm saying. See? You would have went viral too. Nigga. That's what I'm saying. Channel See? 13 News. That's what I'm saying. Telemundo though. cry. That's what I'm saying. Cap, 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 cap. 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 Ain't no cap, cap y'all. But ain't anyway, no that, but that, but that's like that's what I'm saying. It's like. What, up to what how much are we gonna allow people to just do weird ass shit and then be like oh but it's I art mean, oh but bro, it's for, the, for views the Olympics they ain't listening to us they I don't they're... but it's not about them listening to us okay it, right I see this as like okay we might not reach a million people but we might reach you know 10 people that are like yeah that's kind of thousands true. we reach thousands for sure yeah but we might let's say we reach thousand of those thousand they might hear it and be like oh yeah and then they talk about it with you know two three people each Mm -hmm. and that cycle continues and continues it's like we could actually really make a difference that's the whole point of like get on here and talking otherwise what are we gonna do you know we're just sitting in an echo chamber all day but (sighs) yeah i don't know to me that's just like what throws i get it right like i get when people make real political stances right like we had uh jesse owens right Black Power Fist is like an iconic moment. Cool, I get it. Right. That to me is like, okay, it actually means something because you have somebody who's treated as lesser than showing the world like, nah, I'm really him. What the fuck are y'all looking at me less than for? Yeah. Standing up for himself. No, I, I get what you're saying. And um, but like I feel like with the like you're throwing up a a, a black power fist at the Olympics or let's say you're like a an athlete from Ukraine and you got the flag on your back or whatever, like whatever, you know, that is like going against a, some like the system or something like that. You know what I mean? Y'all know who I also want to interview before we jump back in the, y'all know the, uh, we're going to get a new mayor, right? For the first time it's going to be not a good man. We had Oscar Goodman for a long time. Then we had his wife. We're actually gonna get a new mayor this year. Damn. So I low key wanted to get like one of the candidates on and like grill him type shit. That should be good ass podcast. I'm down. Are they are they down <clears throat> to do it though? They gotta be. Cause it's actually a close race, bro. And if we really think about it, like we might think we can't influence some shit, but it's like, bro, there's a reason motherfuckers go on Breakfast Club and do all these other podcasts when they're dropping albums or books or whatever. It's like it actually makes a difference. You're not gonna tell me it doesn't. Especially when we're like one of the biggest podcasts in the city. Like they ain't really if you really look about it, there's not that many podcasts that are bigger than us here. Like actually people that do it consistently type shit. Yeah. How many? Yeah, I mean, how many podcasts are in the city? Though? Right. So it's like, bro, isn't that weird? Is, is that does that scare you? Nah, that's kind of crazy. In a way, it's, it's kind of weird crazy. type yeah. shit, right? Yeah. Like we're really the Breakfast Cup of Las Vegas type shit. Like, ooh, we're I the, like that. We're the Joe Rogan, like bro. That. We're the fucking uh, Rory and Mal. We're the Joe Budden podcast of the city, bro. Except we ain't gonna break up over stupid yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah but. Who's the main guy at the Breakfast Club? Charlemagne. That's Noah, bro. Noah always on point. Wow, with this shit. Noah's on point. No, with I'm Charlemagne. I'm Charlemagne. <laughs> no, I'm DJ Envy. So he, Angela, I'm about, I'm about to get the, I'm about to get, I'm about to, I'm about to get the Rico. <laughs> oh shit. Nah, but yeah, I don't know. And then just another thing to touch up on that Olympic stuff. Y'all heard about the Algerian boxer? Yeah. 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 What What are y'all opinions on it? Before I share mine. Shout out to the homie. Nah, nah, nah. She was born a female. That's why. Yeah. She was born a female. And, but the only thing is she has a genetic or she was born <laughs> with XY chromosomes. You don't know. Okay, don't, okay. Here's the thing about we don't know listen, that. Listen, listen. I don't give a fuck about none of that. The bitch look like Nipsey Hussle, man. I swear nah, to God, okay, bro. Okay, well, here's the thing, though. Let me tell you this. In Algeria, mm-hmm. you're not allowed to have surgery to Thank transition. You. Thank you. You're not allowed to have surgery to modify your, your sexual uh, orientation. Thank you. It's, in fact, frowned upon. So, I get it. Maybe if she was like, and maybe to this day she might really feel like. <laughs> so are we mad that she somewhat has an unfair advantage? Is that what no, we're trying to say? No, no, no. Here, here, here. Because she whooping on shit. Who oh, cares? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's, no, but here's my take, right? <clears throat> here's why it's bullshit on both sides, right? Uh-huh. Because first of all, 
nobody really knows. If you actually do your research, there's been no study proven. There's been no results shared. There's been no actual proof of whatever she has. <laughs> so we can't say she has high testosterone. We can't say she has XY. We can't say none Look of this. Look at that chin. It's we all. Chin. Look at that chin. Got, okay, we, but there's we, we there's high testosterone. We don't because there's manly looking women. There's female like feminine yeah. looking men. But we don't know. At the end of the day, that's not what determines if you're a man or you're a woman. There's dudes mm -hmm. that look like women. There's dudes that go out of their way to look like women. That don't make you a woman, bro. Sorry, say. Sorry to brush your bubble. I mean, I got homies that paint their nails. See? Are we going to call them females? Nah. See? So at the end of the day, we don't know. Here's what yeah. really fucks me about this situation, all right? Mm -hmm. Because the people that are conservative, the people that are facts over feelings, whatever, whatever, are running with the story that fits their narrative. Yeah. Because it fits their narrative against all this political wokeness, against the left, against all these, oh, Kamala Harris is a she-devil, whatever. I get it, mm -hmm. right? I'm not the biggest fan of what's going on. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, we got we to gotta call a spade a spade. Mm -hmm. And the people on the left are not stepping up to defend this woman at all. Why? Yeah. Because she's not actually a dude pretending to be a female if she was an actual dude born a dude yeah. pretending to be a female mm -hmm. there'll be so many people sticking up defending her but because yeah. she's a woman born a woman with female genitalia probably has a period and can bear children right from a muslim country where not only are you not allowed to transition there's no gender reassignment whatever mm -hmm. but we don't do that like uh oh i believe i'm this i identify as this i think i'm this like i'm gonna transition like there's none of that mm -hmm. How does it make sense for this country to send a dude pretending to be a female and then everybody's running it with it? Everybody's running with it pretending to be like, oh, there's a dude beating up on women. What does the world come to in 2024? It's like, listen, they, you're just they, intellectually they only, cowards, people, bro. People only care when it's a thing to talk about. Nobody gave a fuck about women's boxing in the, in the Olympics until now because the Olympics are on TV. Not only that, she competed in the last Olympics yeah, and nobody did. gave a fuck. Nobody yeah. gave a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that, yeah. I'm, all these stories, I'm just like, are, do we really care or y'all just got, y'all ain't got nothing else to talk no, about? No, the thing was is I think the viral post that went out about it was like some guy saying, oh, look at this. This is why we shouldn't have men out, uh, men competing against women. And it was literally the where she had punched the other girl it was really because that Italian bitch folded in 40 seconds. Yeah, she was like, yeah. She was like, yeah. She was like, you know what? This is too much. Oh, for she was like, oh, shit. Yeah, oh, let, let, me, let me go back to the pizza and the lasagna, bro. Yeah. I'm out of this bitch. But the uh, thing is, is like, so the whole thing started because the IBA, which was a world boxing, international, uh, inter yeah, international, international mm -hmm. boxing association, mm -hmm. deemed yeah. her and a Chinese, I think Taiwanese or Chinese boxer, they're the same thing. No, I'm just kidding. Let's not jump into that. Yeah, be careful. Uh, you already you no, already no, no, said no, no. something with the uh, pizza and lasagna. We can't afford any more racist <laughs> ass <laughs> comments. Can't afford that. Right. Cancel our shit. Yeah, all right. It all started because the IBA deemed her ineligible to compete yeah. for some competition, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And they only banned her after she had beaten an undefeated Russian prospect which was this golden girl of Russian boxing, mm -hmm. which did what? When Ryan Garcia got deemed uh, disqualified, what happened to Devin Haney's undefeated? Came back, right? Mm -hmm. He's undefeated. It's a no contest. Mm -hmm. They did the same thing. So the IBA is a Russian organization mm -hmm. that banned her after she had beat a Russian boxer. Not only that, the Olympics themselves got rid of the IBA mm -hmm. from being like the official like organization that oversees boxing for the Olympics because of uh, so much corruption mm -hmm. and uh, I think some financial issues they were mm -hmm. having so it's like bro this whole thing got blown out of pro pro uh, proportion got blown out of proportion yeah. and everybody's running with their own side and the only person suffering is this poor woman bro yeah. like I actually feel I hope she wins a goal she's just bro. trying to live out her dream yeah, facts she's just trying to live out her dream facts. people are saying like oh yeah she's a dude all this and all of that and they feel like yeah. not only that the other boxer is also known to be a, uh, to cry a lot about fights so she just did whatever she does. She cries about a fight. In this case, she she tapped out after forty seconds. Yeah, and I know. Just like, oh yeah, no, no one's ever felt a man's punch like this before. Like <laughs> you that. know, I think she's like, actually bro. been defeated before. I know. There's a there's a there's a an Irish boxing. She goes by the nickname Baby Canelo. Damn, that's kind of hard. That's hard. But she's an Irish boxer. And she's actually stood up for her. She's actually beat her before, mm -hmm. and she's standing up for her, saying like she she like even if right, which we don't know, even if she was born with higher testosterone than normal. She was born that way, bro. She's not taking yeah. like. Are we gonna complain and be like, oh, mm -hmm. Michael Jordan is born with a forty-three inch vertical? He shouldn't yeah, be allowed right, in the NBA. Right. Oh, Shaq is fucking a, a demon, yeah, bro. He's right. running around like that seven feet, dunking on motherfuckers, running down the field. Oh, he can't compete in the NBA. Right. What are you talking about? <laughs>
<laughs> and you gotta think about it, like I know, know you were like, oh, should we just ban her, like, or no, like I didn't she has, say she that. Has, no, no, she has an unfair advantage, right? What when did like? I say that? Well, like, you asked hypothetically. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But to me, it's like if they're Olympians for a reason, they're athletes for a reason. Like I can't go up in there and be like, yeah, you know what? I'm you definitely can't go. Up you up can. <laughs> you saw that guy in Japan that's like five six. Yeah, I did. But, but. Five six. <laughs> yeah, dude's like five six, and he played against France. Yeah. But you have a picture of Wemby who's like seven three next uh-huh. to this five six five, Japanese dude. Yeah. And he See, dropped thirty in the game. Bro. Oh, he yeah. dropped. 30. He dropped thirty. Oh, game. Shit. Yeah. Hey, he's, he's America, nice, bro. bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but, but what I'm saying is like these Olympians, they're there because they have some type of like. They're genetic freaks yeah, at the end of the day. Yeah. Over race, and they've been really practicing nice. their whole life. Yeah. 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 It's a con- yeah. Their, yeah. So, like, it is what it is, bro. Regardless, like, I don't know. This Olympics, I feel like, besides the controversy, nobody really would be talking about it. Because there hasn't, oh, except the Turkish guy. Turkish guy. That Turkish yeah. guy was like the biggest, the he hardest knows. fucking, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Besides that, it's like, yeah, we've been really getting happened? some good memes this Olympics, but it ain't hidden. Yeah, it ain't hidden, bro. I don't think it's hidden. Yeah, and you know what it is? Like, if there's no big track superstar, you know, like back in Usain Bolt was competing, bro. Mm-hmm. It's like yeah, Michael Phelps, like, everybody it, it everybody felt like an event. Watching. Now yeah. it's just like, we, I, I'm not too sure about Team USA's performance. Like, are we doing good in the Olympics? We're doing, like, we have a lot of medals. We don't have as many golds as like, okay. we probably we should have. So. You know, America, our standards are real high. Yeah, for real. Like, I see, it was always funny, like, uh, the rest of the year, or not the rest of the year, but like, most Americans are like, ah, oh, I hate America. I want to leave. You know, they, you know, whatever. But when it comes to the Olympics, USA, USA, right? USA, like we're, we're all we, we right get real patriotic America. during Hell the yeah. Olympics. Hell yeah. What's it called? Didn't Team USA soccer team lose to Morocco? Yeah, four zero. But, but hold up, y'all Mexican, right? Yeah. Are y'all patriotic for Mexico in the Olympics? Type shit, like a little yeah. bit. A little bit. Here's the thing: people always say like, this is a real big talking point, also, mm-hmm. because I don't know if you guys have seen all the political shit that's going on in Europe, in England, with the stabbings and all that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, right. yeah, but I don't want to get into that, mm-hmm. like, derail the conversation. Make this just a political podcast. Mm-hmm. But that's a big talking point of people over there. They're like, oh, when people move here, like even their kids, right? When it's uh, the World Cup or the Olympics, they cheer for their home country instead of like where they're from now. And it's uh, like, uh-huh. I ain't gonna lie. The way I've seen it uh-huh. is like whoever's doing better, that's who you cheer for. Mexico ain't never gonna have as many goals as USA, bro. So as soon yeah. as the Olympics bro, come on, I, I'm I, putting that motherfucking USA I, jersey I on. Feel. What? I'm here a trend. Oh yeah, bro. You know, like wait, have y'all long distance running? Maybe. No, y'all have no goals in history. We gotta look I that up. I think we Guess can you what? look it up on Wikipedia. Yeah, Actually, no. let's look up like. Mexico's gold medals, and then we yeah. have some. So Guatemala it's like swimming just and won their first gold medal, uh, like two days ago. Thursday. In what? Uh, Banana picking. <laughs> Bro, edit that. Edit. 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 That's edit. <laughs> that's not making the final cut. <laughs> my fault. Shout out to that's, Guatemala. That's an edit. My God. <laughs> that's let they grow bananas there. It wasn't the, a racist. Well, you can't yeah, say do. banana picking. Why? I'm not saying it in a racist way. Yeah, you Who the fuck was okay, Eritrea at the Olympics? All right, if we had a guess, what would you guess? Oh, me? Uh, uh, we got, I say, we got like five gold medals, three silvers, and two bronzes. What about you? Eritrea. Don't even ask me. So Eritrea has one bronze medal. That's it. Wait, in its whole history. The whole hit. Yeah. Okay. What what year was it? Two thousand four, Athens, and it was in ten thousand meters, so long distance running. Okay. That's what's up. Winter Games. You've only had one. Oh no, you've had two athletes go. Yeah, which makes sense. We don't bro. fuck with the they cold. Ain't got yeah, no fucking cold. snow yeah, there. Yeah, snow yeah, over there. Yeah. Hell no. Nah. But yeah, one bronze medal. All right, 2028. I'm I'm coming. L.A. There. Yeah. yeah. What it meant? What it meant? Shooting. <laughs> Low key. I feel like if we really practiced, shooting shoot. might be one of the ones we could actually qualify for. You mean the shit with the the, the yeah 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 with the eye yeah. and the whole shit? I yeah. Like the Turkish guy. Yeah. I Man. just pulled the Turkish guy too, bro. No equipment, bro. Give me uh, right. You know, uh, yeah. Because it's like you're not gonna be Michael Phelps. You're not gonna be Bolt. You're not gonna be. No, sh- I, you're I not haven't gonna been be, practicing. You know? Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. And so, them, the people, like the Turkish dude, that was he's he's kind of out of shape. 
Yeah, he's just someone's fucking uncle, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, imagine you see no, your no, uncle no. winning the fucking he, Olympics. He used to be military police. I don't give a fuck. He's still somebody's uncle. I guess. Yeah, I'm going to compete in shooting because my dad used to be a shooter, so it, it passed down to me. Damn. That's yeah. hard. Yeah. yeah. Where are you competing for Eritrea or USA? I don't know. Uh, get that gold for Eritrea. Come on. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, now you're right. Yeah, Yo, because, yeah, yeah. like, you got to think about it. If you get a gold for USA, you still ain't shit. Like, yeah, oh, it ain't so bum ass yeah. Eagle shooting. It's like the. Uh, if you the win girl, it for Eritrea, yeah, you damn near um, be the president. Bro, they finna, it's going to be a parade. A meme, parade inside my country. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Free food, everything. <laughs> but uh, it's like the lady that she beat uh, Shakari in the in the race oh, yesterday. Uh, or whatever. Where's she from? Uh, St. Lucia. St. Lucia, Lucia yeah. yeah. Shout out to her, man. Bro, they and, was do you see crazy. the parade? Yeah. Like, that's the thing, bro. Like, people don't realize, like, in these little countries where shit is really just, like, it's rough out there, mm. winning a the gold medal is like, bro, somebody from here is the fastest in the world yeah. at 100 meters. Like, the whole world sent their best representative and somebody from right here where we are. Is the fastest like that? That's some fucking okay. That shit like yeah. makes you dream big type shit, you know? So yeah, twenty twenty eight, L A. When I hit Sloss in the Crusher after I win, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be <laughs> with my gold medal, marathon sponsorship, yeah, marathon sponsor the whole shit, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, twenty twenty eight, I'm I'm coming. Let's go. All right, but what, yeah, go ahead. Nah, right, we we can move off that topic, but. You yeah, know, let's put so, it on the calendar. Yeah, yeah, let's put it on the calendar, man. We're gonna do content out there as well. LA. Mm-hmm. But yeah, next up, we was in Tijuana recently, yeah. and a lot of stuff happened. Yeah, I'll let y'all speak on that. A lot of there. stuff happened. So we get to Tijuana, right? We cross over. Everything's cool. Uh, first things, we're booking a hotel, right? We're with our friend Kyle. Shout out to Kyle. Mm-hmm. This idiot books for the next <laughs> month, bro. Like I'm like, bro. <laughs> So we get to the hotel. So they actually I, checked us in and shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she's like, wait, uh, sorry, we actually don't have a room for you. Uh, you booked for next month, not this month. Yeah, like, you booked for August. And we're it's like, like bruh. Yeah, and I'm like, bro. So then we had to leave. Mm-hmm. We had to look for a new hotel, the whole fucking fiasco. Mm-hmm. But we go out. We're going to get food. We're streaming. Like, the VODs are still up. Kick.com slash OTRB. Mm-hmm. Go check it out. So uh, we, go, we leave. We want to go get food. We ate. We're leaving. And then this guy... I guess on the way in the Uber on the way to the food, he seen a a, a poster for the barbershop. It said like yeah. ninety five pesos, which is like four dollars type shit, five bucks, five bucks for a haircut. Yeah. So he's like, "Oh, I want to get a haircut," and he wanted to get his beard sh- uh, trimmed or whatever shaved. So we eat. We're like, "All right, fine, let's go." We walk into the first shop. I'll let you tell it because you was actually yeah, inside. So I guess like the only thing is, is like if I don't shave for like past the week. It just looks scruffy, I look homeless and shit, right? So I was just like, you know what? I like keep it in shape clean, whatever. So I had seen on the Uber like a 95 pesos on the way to the eating. And I was like, oh shit, that's cheap. And so we ate whatever. And I like, I kind of forgot about it. And then like afterwards, uh, Brandon was like, oh, what should we do next? And I was like, I don't know. I said, let's just walk it. And he was like, nah, let's not walk it. Because Tijuana is kind of dangerous, right? And I was like, no, nah, let's just walk it. Like at least down here. I seen like a barbershop somewhere close by. I just want to get my beard trimmed. So we start walking, right? And, like, the first barbershop we see is, like, a bunch of people in there, and they're all young. And I walk in, and I see, like, 95 pesos, right, or whatever, on one sign. And I get in, and the guy's, like, he sees me. He sees Brandon, like, streaming. He sees our Asian friend Kyle in there. So the guy's, like, and, and they want to, if they know you're not a local, if they know you're not from Mexico, they'll just upcharge you. It's a tourist city, so... They make any type of money on you any way they can. So even and so he told me it was like oh 140 pesos, which would have been like two dollars, which I guess was like to us is like nothing, right? Like I probably would have taken it, uh, especially for like we're going for sixty dollar cuts to like a seven dollar cut. Like anybody would take it, but I was like nah, because I had seen ninety five pesos, so I was like I'm not, I'm not a bit, but I'm not gonna get a finesse. Cause I'm walking out, the guy's like no, 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 one twenty pesos. I'm like no, 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 I'm good. And so we walk out, and as we're walking by again, I didn't know where exactly where it was, but I knew it was, like, further down. And Brandon's like, oh, here's a spot. It's like a hole in the wall. Have you guys never seen memes, like, in Mexico? They always talk about sidewalks. How it's, uh, like, yeah. like, three feet Like, you're, like, nah, the meme is, like, almost all the streets somehow are, like, uphill. Yeah. And then the sidewalk goes from, like, its level, and then the, the, there's, like, a step, and it's, like, two feet up. Yeah. And then you have to, like, step up and walk yeah, down and shit. like, basically jump down yeah. to, or jump up type <laughs> shit to get up there. Mm-hmm. And so, like, it's a hole in a wall, and it's on a step, and there's, like, different shops. It's, like, there. one of those where it's literally just a cement building, and it has the metal, 
Yeah, the, the metal, metal like roll doors. Oh, okay. remember the shit we were talking about in uh, Baltimore? Yeah, that type shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so then we're like, fucking around, right? Yeah. And then I'm like, yo, I was like, uh, he's like, Dan, there's nobody here. I'm like, oh, I'll get you right. Come on. And then oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. this we guy talking. starts walking down the street, right? Oh, like I didn't see him. I didn't see him, right? So like, oh, I guess it didn't really matter because he didn't really look like that. But like, now he kind of like, did. Oh, okay, well I didn't see him. <laughs> Brandon's like, oh, he's right behind you, and I'm like, oh, what do I do? Because like I don't want to just turn around because. All of us would have been looking at this fucking random ass dude. Mm. So uh, Brandon asked him a question, and then I still didn't see him. And he was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah we're open. Like, go in, go in." So I get in, and I sit down, and I, then I see this dude. He's like a, he's like a twig, like maybe like a hundred forty pounds, soaking wet, mm-hmm. right? And I, you could tell there's something like off about him, right? And I'm just like, "What do you mean by off?" Well, <laughs> he wasn't straight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He was at the Olympic <laughs> supper, bro. Let's just put it that <laughs> way. Not, 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 there's nothing wrong with gay people, right? <laughs> but I was like, huh, this is kind of weird, right? And so, like, I sit down on the chair, and he puts, like, the fucking thing on me. I asked him, well, how much is it? He's like, 95 pesos. And I'm like, yeah, shit, I'll do it, because, like, I've seen the other side, right? And no, no, he asked him, like, because we didn't have actual pesos. We had oh, dollars. Yeah, dollars. So he's, right. like, how, he's like, like, can I pay it uh, dollars? Mm-hmm. And he's like, yeah. He's like, how much? Mm-hmm. He's like, five dollars. Yeah, so, so he's like, like okay, oh, yeah. Like, okay, mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. And then, like, he's like, okay, what do you want me to cut for you? I'm like, oh, do you know what? Just cut the beard. That's all I want. Now, before this, though, we got to explain. So, Benji, the thing about him is, like, when he gets something new in his brain, he's so ADHD that he just spams it. You know, like, when you're playing, like, Fortnite or whatever, like, when you would unlock one new emote, and that's your only <laughs> emote, and, yeah. like, he would just spam that's that motherfucking emote the whole right, time? Right. That's all he does, right? right? So, right, yes, it is. So, right now, his emote is he always says this shit. And you could fact check me. Go to the last pod. Listen to the last pod. He says this dumb ass shit where he's like, oh, I want to dye my hair and my beard blonde like Brazilian people. Uh-huh. And he started listening to Brazilian music. Like, his whole fucking thing he's full out Brazilian, yeah. bro, right? Yeah, yeah, and then, so, that's his emote. He's yeah. spamming that shit I, I, all the time. I, I, I didn't ask the barber yet. No, I know. But right oh, before yeah. he was even, before the barber even came, he was like, oh, should I get my beard dyed here? Mm-hmm. Or should I get my hair dyed here? And I was like, oh, I think it might take too long, but you should do the beard. Mm-hmm. So, that's a preface. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay. uh, yeah, that's like, it's a whole different story, like. I've been wanting to get my fucking beard dyed, my mustache dyed for like a while. Bleach, bleach, blonde. You know you can do it yourself. Yeah, I know, but like, it's not as funny to do it in front of other people. Like, I, I, I think I have self-induced ADHD. How do you have self-induced ADHD? <laughs> self-diagnosed, idiot. Uh, <laughs> he says self-induced. It is self-induced. <laughs> it's bold, Loki. <laughs> but anyways, anyways, so like, I get on the chair, right? I see this guy, I'm like, oh, this guy's like 140 soaking wet. How tall is he? Maybe like... 5'10". Yeah, something like I'd that. I'd say something like that, and I was like, nah, this guy is... I was like, whatever. Mm-hmm. And so, like, he starts, like, with the... With straight the fucking, razor. No, not the with the straight razor. With the... With, like, the little... The like, trimmer? The trimmer. Yeah, yeah, with yeah, the trimmer. Trimmers. And to be honest, I low-key would have been happy with just a trimmer. Okay. But I would have been... I was like, low-key, I was like, 95 pesos for just a trimmer. I was like, whatever. Mm-hmm. But he starts doing that shit, right? Doing everything, right? And I was like, okay, whatever. It was all good. Mm-hmm. Nothing, nothing wrong. And I was like, okay, cool. I'm happy here. Mm-hmm. Then he pulls out like a blade. I hear him open up the wrapper. I'm like, yeah, this is, this is what I came here for, right? Yeah. I just straight razor type shit. Yeah. And so like he starts going on me, right? And he like puts a cream. But this is the first part kind of caught me off guard. <laughs> Remember, I can't see what's, what he's doing or type shit, right? Uh-huh. But I could feel his hands, right? Uh-huh. So he's putting the cream. He's like massaging my face. Uh-huh. And I was like, okay. Now... I know it happens when you go to like a high luxurious place, you get like a little massage, a wet towel, uh, warm towel, whatever, mm-hmm. hair follicles, mm-hmm. you softening up and mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. But this guy like starts massaging my face and my beard, right? And I'm like, okay. And then he pulls out a straight razor and he's like, he starts shaving and mm-hmm. then like, he went like this, it smacks my, <laughs> smacks my face. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, whoa. Right. <laughs> what did he do? Yeah. He, like, he smacked your cheek? Yeah, he smacked my cheek. What? <laughs> I have no idea. But he shaved, wow. he shaved my beard now with like a straight razor, right? Uh-huh. So he's like, he gets it all smooth and he just smacks it. And like, no, he smacks it, right? He's lo- he's like lathering up his yeah, face and he goes, yeah. and he's like soft like a baby's ass. And I'm like, <laughs> in Spanish. And I'm like, bro, <laughs> yeah. what? Yeah. And I, I was like, what the fuck's happening? Uh-huh. Right? But he keeps going, right? Because shaving and everything. Right? Uh-huh. I was like, you know what? Because like, I'll let shit slide. 
I'll let some shit fuck <laughs> yeah, Why? Yeah. Nah. For, like, for five dollars? Uh-huh. I'll let it slide. Like, whatever. That's uh-huh. crazy. That's a crazy sentence. That's a very crazy sentence, but go ahead. <laughs> so, like, he starts shaving, whatever. And, then, like, he gets the majority of it done, and he's like, what was, oh. And then, like, it was near the end, he was like, oh, don't move your chin or something like that, right? Because he was going to cut, like, under here where my Adam's at. Right. 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 And... He's, he starts doing it. He's like, he holds my <laughs> yeah, holds his neck like he holds my neck like choking him, bro. Like, I, no, not he, <laughs> type he, shit. He wasn't choking. Type bro, shit. Hold on, he wasn't choking, pause, he wasn't choking you, but that's how his hands yeah, was. Pause. Okay, wait, wait. wait. I would have stopped. I seen it all. Bro. You can't see it. I, I was no. sitting okay. on the chair. I was like, should I leave, bro? I need a minute alone or some no. shit, bro. Like. We've all been the barbers in Vegas, right? Yeah. And when they cut under here, they just tell you lift your chin up, and then they just do that. Yeah. With the straight, and you just yeah. have to stay like this. Yeah. yeah. This I've guy never like had a barber go. <laughs> yeah. This guy like no. This guy no. This guy like literally straddled him, sat on his lap, and held his neck, and he oh, like, dude. yeah, he kind of like him like he sat on your lap. No, nah, <laughs> he didn't sit on it, but his legs were like they're borderline like one leg was here, one leg was here. I didn't feel. Are anything. he standing? He's yeah. standing the whole time. Okay, but he has like his legs over your knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And I'm just, but at the same time, remember, I'm like, I'm reclined, right? Because I, he wanted to recline <laughs> me. <okay? laughs> so, <laughs> so basically, he damn near was right at you, fucking cowgirl. Yeah, type shit. Wait, okay, but wait. <laughs> Answer a question, buddy. No. <laughs> How close was it? He had to cut your your. It was chair. like it was like sixty five percent. Like, okay. it was more than... I gave, like, I gave, I gave 60%. Okay. okay. It was but, way but, more than it should have been. Now, the thing is, I've I've cut... Uh, I've uh, So, I use a straight razor myself, okay? Okay. And you can cut yourself very easily. And right. so, I get it, and I've gotten cuts with straight razors before from inexperienced people that they usually come close to make sure you're not cutting your skin or anything, mm. like that, right? So, he was a little close sometimes, but to me, it was like, you know what? I'll excuse it, because he also was like... Some places here in Vegas, they'll just use a straight razor and go... But unless you really know, you get all the stubble out. And to get all the stubble out, you try not to cup someone else, right? Okay. Fuck all that uh <laughs> the explanation you gave for a straight uh-huh. razor. Uh was his beard really that long in Mexico? Nah. No. Like it's... for me, me personally, mm-hmm. I would just roll it out. We were there for two days. That's I was like, saying. I'll roll it out. Who are you trying to look fly fly for for two days? The no. barber was already experienced. He really wanted to experience you. That's what happened. Type shit. No, no, no. Type so shit. The way I see it's like even if I wasn't there, I would have shaved my beard the next day anyway. I feel like you could have just saved yourself the whole headache by shaving before you went to bro, fucking Mexico. That's my thing. To, How do you forget, to. bro? Instead, you got assaulted in a barber shop okay, I usually, and nobody I, said okay, anything. I usually shave my beard every like Friday, Friday nights, whatever. Okay, but wait, can, can you tell his beard is like brown? Yeah. Yeah, he got to die. Yeah. Okay, he got to die. But let's get back to the story, though. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So he smacks my shave, whatever, and I'm like. <laughs> What? <laughs> Bro, you gotta say that. We're on a public podcast. I love it. So, like, he smacks my cheek a little bit, right? Like, taps it. On your face. Yeah, like, yeah, like this. Like, yeah, love you, me, yeah. Right? you, you can, can love taps. You can't literally. just go back to the. So, he was smacking my shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> that sounds crazy. No, no. Diddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, go so, ahead. And, like, uh, well, we're basically done with the cut. And I was just like, whatever. But it, remember, it didn't really trigger anything then. It was more like inside jokes between me and Brandon being like, nah, this guy's kind of diddy, right? Mm-hmm. To me, it wasn't like too far. Okay. I was just like, okay, that two comments were weird. When he kind of like love tapping and he was like smooth like a baby's bottom, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, remember, people in Mexico always say like some weird shit. That, like, or like foreign countries, people will say some stuff in foreign countries. Mm-hmm. That like when you say it here, you're kind of like, that's weird. But, but yeah. over there, just but, like whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay, whatever. Like, yeah. it's kind of weird, but like whatever. Mm-hmm. And then at this point, I'm like, me and Brandon kind of talking in between, right? We're kind of just saying, like, we're just making jokes and shit. And then, like, well, I don't even know how we saw the beard. We're like, to, oh, to dye your hair. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, do you dye your hair? He's like, yeah. I said, how much? He's like, oh, 95 pesos, too, which is another $5. Mm-hmm. And I remember, I pulled out cash from the bank, and I only had a $10 bill. So mm-hmm. I didn't have five U.S. dollars. So mm-hmm. I was like, whatever. Let me just get let me get my, my beard dyed. I was mm-hmm. giving him the full $10. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah, I want it bleached, right? Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh, I can't do that. It's going to take too much time. Mm-hmm. He's like, but I can. And was, I was like, oh. And then Brandon's like, oh, just do this color. It was like a brown, right? Mm-hmm. I'm like, fine, whatever. I'll do the brown. Mm-hmm. And then this is where it got bad. Because mm-hmm. then, like, I didn't even know. He started, it was, music was playing in the shop, right? And he starts singing along to it, right? But some mm-hmm. of the music was like, 
was like love songs, right? Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> so this dude's singing love songs to <laughs> him, right? <laughs> while he's while, he's, while he's like mixing up the yeah. back for the beer. <laughs> and I was just like, fuck, what's happening? Uh-huh. And like, <laughs> I'm like talking, me and Brandon are talking, right? And he sees Brandon fucking recording, right? Mm-hmm. And he's like, what is, I don't even know. No, he's like, he's like, uh, he's like, are you live or is you just record? No, he said, are you live or is it just like for your Facebook? And then, and then I was like, bro. And then he's like, oh, it's just for his Facebook. He only has two viewers. It's his aunt and his uncle. Uh-huh. And then I was like, say what up to auntie. He's like, what up, auntie? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, bro, this guy's a bot. Yeah. yeah like, and then like, he comes back to like to dye my beard, and he was like, so he starts like using the brush, or whatever. And like th- this, this is a time where I was like, okay, it's kind of weird, because mm-hmm. then he starts again putting one leg in front of, like in between, right? Mm-hmm. And I was just like, you're dying my beard, like you. I get it for the straight reason. I'll let it pass. Mm-hmm. But now you're dying my beard, and you're just like basically over me again. Yeah. And I was like, okay, this is kind of weird. And he's like, oh, I like the brown, right? And he's like, it matches your rosy cheeks. I was like, <laughs> yeah, bro, yeah. Imagine how uncomfortable I was sitting there, like, did I just hear that shit correctly? <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? And I was like, rosy cheeks. And okay, one thing is like, uh-huh. uh huh. My grandparents are from Europe, so they always have rosy cheeks, white hair, blonde hair, whatever, mm-hmm. rosy cheeks, right? Mm-hmm. I didn't get any of the white features except for the rosy cheeks. Right. So I get right in the face sometimes when I'm like embarrassed and shit, right? Right. So this guy, when he's like, oh, you got rosy cheeks. And I, I've always hated my rosy cheeks, kid. Right. When he said rosy cheeks, I was like, fuck. I said, is my rosy cheeks really popping out right now? Yeah. And I get more red, right? Yeah. So then Brandon sees just me get all flustered. Yeah. I'm like, nah. <laughs> right? Uh-huh. Now, I remember, he's like, he's like doing whatever. And like, he goes around. He's like, oh, just let it wait for a little bit. And then he's like, he's asking me, oh, is it, is, does the bleach like burn? I was like, no, not yet. And he's like, he laughs like in a weird way. Like I said something very funny. And I was mm-hmm. like, okay. Bro, so you know, like when people are flirting, right? And there's a, there's a, let's say there's like an NBA or an NFL player, right? And there, there's a girl, right? Anything he says, she gonna laugh, right? Yeah, she's like, type shit. Like, yeah, yeah. Dumb laugh, it was yeah. that type yeah. shit. Yeah. Like anything he would say, the dude he's would just be like, oh, <laughs> that's so yeah. funny. Yeah. Like, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah. I was like, nah. And then like, Oh, and then like he goes, he goes again. He's like, oh, let me put a little bit more. And again, he goes like one leg in between both my legs, mm-hmm. and he's like, he goes, he starts like brushing like kind of aggressively, right? Mm-hmm. And when he does that, he goes like this, which kind of like, I don't know why to be honest, but he goes like that, right? Mm-hmm. And I, like to kind of move it around, and I'm like, okay, whatever. And then the second time, he actually strokes my beard. <laughs> Like he strokes it. I'm like, whoa. Bro. Whoa. <laughs> nah, this shit was like fucking. Yeah, yeah this shit was Diddy, D- Diddy's detailed yeah. cuts, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. He struck my. Sh- I was like, what's happening? And I literally, when he stroked my beard, I remember I'm reclined, right? I literally, like, get up. And I look up Brandon, and I'm like, then we both just <laughs> see what happened. Cause my eyes are closed, right? But he I'm felt like, that I, shit. I kind of went up. I was like, "Bro, did you see this?" Shit? <laughs> like that was the last try. <laughs> like, it's funny because he didn't even say shit. We just made eye contact. I was like, "Yeah, I see that shit." Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "No," like I couldn't believe it was happening. And I was like, "Nah." Uh-huh. And like he finished. I don't know. We we talked a little bit more. <laughs> he okay. was asking like, "What was he, he was saying?" Like random shit, like making conversation. I was uh-huh. like, "Yeah." Yeah, <laughs> like being dry. And shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm like I literally like get me out of here. Oh, oh no, I literally was like get me out of here, get me out of here, because he didn't speak any, any English. Uh-huh. So I was saying, Brandon, I was like, hey, yeah, get me out of here, get me out of here, get me out of here, right? <laughs> yeah. And then the guy's like, <laughs> Brandon's like, relax, right? <laughs> And, and the, the guy's, guy's like, like, relax. relax. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no. Yeah. Bro, if Brandon wasn't there, I don't know what would have happened yeah. to you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, he he might be missing, bro. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, yeah. Been, yeah. he was the only Tijuana member that was not all bark, no bite. <laughs> that motherfucker was all bite, no bark. Yeah, mm-hmm. nah. Uh... But yeah, I kind of left the place with a red beard, and I was like, "Let's get out of here as quick as possible." Because mm-hmm. oh, one thing is, like he said, he didn't want to bleach my hair because it was too long. Uh, mm-hmm. It was gonna take too long. Mm-hmm. But it took <laughs> the same fucking time to, to bleach his little ass goatee, bro. It was this and a mustache. That's it. Yeah, yeah. It took us like fucking an hour there or some shit. I'm like what the fuck? But, but to be fair, I think they closed like at five or whatever. We were there till like six thirty or some shit. Like that. So he kept the he kept the he barbershop kept, open for you. Yeah. Yes. It was wow. like we was there and it was like daylight. When we yeah, left, it was pitch black it was outside. Pitch black. Damn. 
Yeah. I was like, shit. But, yeah, after that, he, like, I don't even remember what he was saying. He was like, oh, have fun or some shit like that. I was just telling Brian, I was like, let's get out of here. Like, I don't want to. He play. told you to have fun. <laughs> He said, he said some, something like that. And I was just like, yeah, let's get uh, out Y'all of left. Here. He said, call me. And uh, I, I gave him the 10 bucks, and I was like, let's get out of here. Damn. Didn't ask him for anything, did nothing. I just, like, left. But, yeah, that was Tijuana. That was Tijuana. Shout out Tijuana. We got to go out there, though. It's actually dope. No, I'm, I'm down to go. You want to get your beard cut? Fuck no, not where you went. No, 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 no. Shit. Nah, make sure you shave, get a haircut before yeah, we Yeah, I'm going to make sure yeah. I'm all taken care of beforehand. Yeah, you got to be right. So I don't want to get assaulted by a barber. That's, Facts. That's over with. Yeah, nah. Facts. Good. Fuck all that. What's next on the list? What we got? I don't know. What else we got? Oh, can we talk about your Facebook marketplace addiction? I don't have an addiction to Facebook. Oh, Lord. What is he buying on Facebook? Bruh, this is the thing, right? Mm-hmm. So we're chilling, right? The thing about him is, like, anytime you see him, you know, most people play games. There's some people be on social media, other people be working yeah. on the phone, yeah. emails, whatever. Yeah, this motherfucker be chilling, bro. We got Facebook Marketplace open, just scrolling that motherfucker like an addict, bro, like a fiend, just looking for deals <laughs> type yeah. shit. What? So, okay, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, go ahead. I don't, want, I don't play like mobile games or anything like that. To me, it was just kind of pointless, right? Mm. I would go on Instagram, but after a while of me scrolling for too long, I was just like, I'm bored. Like, I feel like I'm just brain rot, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm like whatever so the only thing that I feel like is kind of good but not too addicting is Facebook Marketplace like I'll go in I'll like look at random shit <laughs> exactly <laughs> you just read a book <laughs> nah cause if I'm reading while we're driving type shit or like whatever I actually don't got books on my phone to be honest yeah, we can tell <laughs> but anyways yeah so like if we're on a new place like I see like, to be honest I'm, I'm on Facebook Marketplace fairly so I know like a lot of shit here in Vegas already not really like whatever mm-hmm. but if we're in a different city i'll look at facebook marketplace because i'll be like shit if there's a good deal out here my ticket back to fucking vegas right <laughs> bro Do you hear yourself so, is an addict bro so like a you're, fiend. you're going to new cities and the <laughs> like, first thing yes, let me go meet yeah, yeah. a random person in the city i'm not too familiar with <laughs> yeah to buy some shit that i don't really give a fuck about right so like most people they'll try the food <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there's a cool restaurant here. Oh, yeah. there's a museum. Where, I might yeah, go to the beach. There's a, no, there's, a, yeah. there's a nice view. Yeah. It's my Shows to go to. Bro, not only that. Imagine you buy some shit and it don't work. You got to go all the way back there and be like, hey, to bro, this shit don't exactly, work, bro. Yeah. Why? Like, what are, you, what are you looking for on Facebook Marketplace? Uh, I look at a lot of car stuff. Like car yeah. parts? No, like just cars in general. Like, Do you like, have a car? Yeah. So why are you looking at other? Because if it's a good deal, you can flip it here. So you're looking for like clunkers? Not necessarily clunkers. I look at like Lexuses, Toyotas, trucks. I look at what? cars, Mustangs. <laughs> what you finna do with old Lexus? Old Lexuses go 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 good for the money here. Here in Vegas. Not How really much are these Lexus is going for? Like a Lexus IS three hundred go for like eight grand here. So you got eight grand to spend on a Lexus? No, they go for eight grand here. But over there, like in Cali, they go for like two, three grand. So <laughs> you basically gonna do some out of state Traffic and bullshit. Yeah. You're gonna buy the Lexus in Cali. If I'm there, yeah. If you're, <laughs> if I'm there. Imagine being when I was in California, I was not thinking about buying a, a Lexus. Right. Wait, if I was saying, enjoying yeah. my time. Wait, I was, wait, we was in San wait, Diego. Wait, wait. I was like, I'm the chilling. reason why this comes up is because like we went to sleep in the hotel room, uh-huh. and this guy is acting immature, which I will get into, right? Mm-hmm. But whatever. We as we're sleeping, like I had no charger, mm-hmm. and I I don't know why I just knocked out like immediately. Mm-hmm. And then I wake up like in the middle of the night and I'm like, shit, like I have no charge, blah, blah. So I grab the charger from him, right? Mm-hmm. And I plug it in. Mind you, me and Kyle, the other guy we were with, we're both idiots. We didn't bring a charger. So we don't have one charger for the whole night there. And Imagine there. you going on a trip, bro. You no, forget I to shave. My, I brought my charger. You forgot to shave and you don't bring a charger. Yeah. The Dumbass. fuck are you doing, yeah, bro? I brought my fucking charger. Yeah. Yeah. So like, <laughs> we're all using his shit, right? This, so I, okay. I went to go plug my shit in mm-hmm. and it's a power bank so I take it back to the, where I'm sleeping mm-hmm. and like I literally turn it off and I try to go back to bed and I can't I'm like bruh cause Rome you wanna get in that dopamine rush from your phone that's why so, I, it, so it's uh, we're in Mexico right so I'm like I literally was just like, in my head I was like I know okay, this is gonna sound crazy but uh-huh. off rope or no no no, no. Whatever, I'm like, I wonder if Facebook Marketplace works in Mexico. What time was it? Who asked? It's like 2 a.m. Like Who asked themselves that question at 2 a.m.? Well, not, I wonder if Facebook Marketplace works in Tijuana. No. Yeah, no, 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 bro. So like, so like, so like, sometimes here in Vegas, you can see like, shit's posted, but they're actually selling it from Mexico. 
They say, oh, yeah, I just got to cross the border. I've <laughs> never like, seen that shit in my life. I, I have, right? So I'm like, I literally, I literally wake up and I'm like, I don't want to be on my phone for Instagram because I'm just going to be there all, all fucking morning. Bro. I was like, I'm not going to go out. I'm like, Did you, know you just hear yourself? You just said, oh, all I got to do is cross the border. It's not worth it to cross the border no, no, to buy this old piece of shit no, no, from no, Facebook Marketplace. No, 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 I get that. But, like, I'm in Mexico. I don't want to be on my phone. I'm just like, I'm curious. I'm like, oh, I wonder if Facebook Marketplace works out here. Right? <laughs> so I literally hop on my phone, and it does it. But I'm immature, right? <laughs> okay, continue. But I'm just, I literally just, like, scroll for, like, a little bit. There's mm-hmm. shit in San Diego. Mm-hmm. And then, like, Kyle wakes up, and he just turns around. And he sees me on Facebook Marketplace. Mm-hmm. Mind you, I was only on there for like 30 seconds max. Yeah. I literally open up the app, scroll down. I'm like, oh, this shit don't work. Uh-huh. Turn it off. And I go back. And Bakao got up. Uh-huh. See my Facebook Marketplace. And he turns around. He's like, this is the guy's a thing, dude. <laughs> Whatever. So the next morning. <laughs> yeah. The next, the next morning, morning, he fucking tells that shit. And he's like, he's like, bro, I woke up at 2 a.m. This motherfucker was on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> Like what the fuck? I was like, what the fuck? Mind you, I didn't know he was awake. So nah, because like, first of all, they all right. So it was like it was like a one bed thing, right? So yeah. I'm sleeping on the fucking like sofa, couch, oh, futon, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And these motherfuckers, I had no blanket, right? Yeah. So they in the blanket, they chilling, whatever, comfortable as fuck. Yeah. I'm on this fucking futon, bro. Yeah. Cold as shit. Yeah. AC on max, bro. Yeah. I'm like, he gave me uh, you know, like at the hotels, it, literally, you know, in the hotels they put like that. Fucking ribbon at the bottom of the bed across yeah, the thing. Yeah, that's what skinny ass thing. That's what I was using, bro. I had my shit wrapped up like a mummy, like this. Yeah. You know that meme when you like cover yourself with all the random shit yeah. in the house when your homie yeah. don't give you a blanket yeah. to sleep over? Yeah. I was that shit, bro. Yeah. And I'm like, bro. And then I wake up and he tells me, like, this idiot was on Facebook Marcus. I was like, oh, must have been a fucking comfortable ass motherfucking sleep, bro. Yo, ass should have bought a fucking blanket for him. Instead of, what were you looking at? You were looking at cars in no, Mexico? No. When I was here for like the 30 seconds, I literally just scrolled up to see like what, what they selling because okay look my Facebook marketplace if I open it up right now mm-hmm. it would just be a bunch of car shit like cars just cars okay. but like obviously there's other shit you could buy on Facebook marketplace right so yeah. I was just like oh I wonder what's gonna pop up here in Mexico if it works yeah and like I was like oh whatever it's like it should have shown me a bunch of Cali shit so like, whatever mm-hmm. so I didn't care it was like 30 seconds to a minute at so first. were you looking to buy anything off Facebook marketplace when you were in Mexico no 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 after I realized it didn't work for showing me a bunch of Cali shit I was like whatever Okay. But in San Diego, I was, I was just kind of looking. Or are you trying to buy them in San Diego? Uh, I wanted something like if I was gonna buy a car, less for like less than two grand, I only had like two grand. And so, cause I, I, I just bought a truck. So, so, <laughs> so is... he had just bought a car, right? Right. Like, and he's on Facebook Marketplace looking for more cars. Bro, who the fuck you think on you vacation, are? bro? Bro. I... <laughs> This ain't Grand Theft Auto, bro. This is not like. Bro, he's trying to hit Los Santos yeah, Customs. Yeah, he's trying to hit Cali, Los Santos bro. Customs or whatever the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> y'all talking, Los Santos Autos. Y'all yeah. I don't know what the gems Facebook Marketplace guys sometimes. No, I fuck. I, I bought. I, be I just buying, feel like, like that's just an addiction, though. No, I be buying like cologne and shit off Facebook Marketplace. I used to get a shit, but I'm not oh, like right. him. Two a.m. Fucking. Yeah, that like, shit up. the thing about it is like I see like when I used to trade like crypto and all that shit. Yeah, like it was so addicting <clears throat> because you would literally just want to be on a computer all day or like looking for shit all day. Yeah, and you would get like such bad FOMO because you're like, oh shit, I should have bought that and I should have sold yeah. that. Yeah. Like it just literally rots your brain if you don't fucking like. Have it. I feel like it's that type shit where it's like you can't even go on vacation and chill because you're always like, damn, there's probably IS three hundred out here for fifteen hundred dollars that I could flip for eight thousand in Vegas. Yeah. Like, yeah, I guess. Yeah, the thing is, like here in Vegas, like IS three hundred, a lot of them are rebuilt titles or salvage titles, or they're like straight up like like the one we saw. The owners are like lying; they unplug the check engine, light, so you can't see a bunch of shit. Damn, and it's like it's because they're like it's, East it's Side so, motherfuckers, it's so bro. So common here in Vegas, and buying no shit for no That's East Side saying, motherfucker. Right? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. We're from Vegas, so we already know. Oh, like we can look up the address of a Facebook Marketplace yep. post and be like, yep. "Ooh, I don't want to go yep. over there." If but if he if you're oh, doing this shit in San Diego, if it's east, Diego, if it's I've been in San Diego, so like I know like National City is the worst part. If it's east of the Strip, I ain't buying shit over there. If it ain't like Centennial Hills, Summerlin, Henderson, right, it got Enterprise, be the- like, and it's like a white suburban family right. with the fucking golden retriever, I ain't buying it, bro. And I trust uh, your shit. Yeah, I pulled up to. Where did I pull up? I bought some. I bought some shorts off Facebook Marketplace. What the fuck. No, I don't- <laughs> Let me that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Were they used? 
These better bro. be like some fucking limited edition bro, can shorts, I explain? Bro. Please, it's a story These better be it. Eric Emanuel's or whatever that yeah. dude's name is. I, no, I bought my Eric Emanuel's from on the arm. So that's different. But okay. That's a, that's a story. But I bought my... These were uh, the Laker shorts, right? Oh, Just Don? No. No, no, no. The, just uh, Laker shorts. Mitch, the Mitchell and Ness shorts. Were they game worn? No. No. I right, proceed. So, right. So it's because 2020... <laughs> I wanted to I wanted to be Kobe Bryant for Halloween. Right. I, I I know it was fucked up. R.I.P. bro. R.I.P. Kobe. That, that it was fucked up. But I I had the jersey. Yeah, I think I, I bought the jer I think I bought the jersey off Facebook Marketplace too separately. And then I had to look for the shorts. So I found the shorts and I pulled up uh it's must I can't it was it was definitely the north side. But I got out and like as soon as I got out, this is this is probably like the Halloween time, so October, bro. Somebody was just lighting fireworks in their in their in their parking. I mean, in their uh, their front lawn. <laughs> the fuck. And these are North Las Vegas apartments and shit, right? Yeah. So like, I pull up and I'm like, I could. These are obviously like uh, ghetto ass apartments, and bro was just like, I was texting him. I'm like, bro, where you at? He's like, oh, pull up. I'm over here and shit. I'm like. I hate when you do that because I buy shit from people like that and they live in apartments. I hate when they're like, oh, apartment uh, 1345A. I'm like, bro, I don't know, I don't know what the that fuck shit. that is, bro. Yeah. Come to the fucking office, bro. What are we doing, So that's bro? what I'm saying. I had to track your fucking low. apartment I, down. I eventually met with the dude. We dap up. I'm like, all right, you know, cash transaction, whatever. And then I got the fuck up out of there. But I'm like, bro, that was, that could have went bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's certain zip codes. So what I'm saying is I'm, I'm nervous for you. I don't want you going around San Diego with shit. You're buying a car. That's real nah, money. Okay, okay, okay. But like the chances of me buying a car would have been like so slim. Mm -hmm. It's just like looking to see the, the deals out there. See, okay. He's just like looking for like a Hail so Mary type shit. Is he on some like like pawn shop shit? You know what I mean? Trying to buy a damn storage locker? I guess. Maybe that. Like uh, yeah. That's what I feel like it is. It's like you're just trying to find a, 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 a holy grail. Just like a Hail Mary that's like, oh, this shit is just perfect. I have to buy it. Type yeah, shit. Yeah, Maybe yeah. that's what we should do. We should buy a storage locker. That should be a fun ass episode. That'd be a the hilarious asset. We buy a storage locker, just look through all the shit. And then we could literally, we actually know people that have fucking shops and shit. So we could actually go out there. Just like imagine we find like dope ass clothes. Like go, to shops? go to the honor arm and shit and just be like, what do you give me for this? A pair of Kobe's, bro. You, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, type shit. Like fake, right. fake Kobe's. Yeah, for this pair uh, of Lakers shorts that I right. buy on the north side. I still have the shorts. <laughs> they fake? No, they're real Mitchell in that shorts. Do y'all want to see? Uh, I'll show y'all the whole costume because I actually did wear this. Yeah, shit. send me the picture. We'll put it up on the screen for the people. Okay. So y'all can see uh, Noah's Lakers. Halloween costume, yeah. Hold on. Then he was you. actually. Was you 8 Kobe or 24? 8 because the fro. I had the fro. Damn. At least it was authentic. No, I I I looked like Kobe, but if like Kobe had like a. Uh, if, if he was anorexic because I didn't have no muscle mass. I look. I was skinny at the time, so little ass Kobe. Yeah, baby right. Kobe. What was the next question? You before we started, you had asked a question. You said like, what's what's the list of people you would lend money to without? Yeah. Second so I'll, I'll I'll speak on this because there was a clip going around. Um, uh, DJ Vlad. He was interviewing uh, Mike Vick and shit, and he was just talking about like he moved a few of his homies from Virginia. Um down to Atlanta with him and shit to live with him. And and Vlad couldn't believe it. He was like, what? Are you serious? For real? So he was just like, they. he was, it was lost in translation. Like Michael Vick was trying to explain to Vlad, like, nah, I'm looking out for the homies type shit. Like, that's not a big deal. And Vlad just did not understand that. So what I was saying was, I'm like, what's your list of people like in y'all lives that, if they ask you for any amount of money, it doesn't matter the amount of money, just like you're going to get that shit done. Like if they was like, uh, what's it called? If they needed bail money, well, who's that list for you? Basically, what I'm trying to say is like, who, who y'all day ones? Who's like, if you do, if you do have a fucking Hall of Fame speech, yo, I got to thank the homie over here. Mama, I got to thank you. Pops, I got to thank you. Auntie Nene, I got to thank you. Like, I feel like if I were to give a speech, though, I don't know. I, like this is the thing that I'm always paranoid about and I see people giving speeches and I always think about it mm -hmm. I'll be so paranoid of like leaving somebody out 
Because imagine, like, this is your big moment. You're shouting everybody out, and there's one person you like, not even like on some hater shit. You just forgot to say their name. I would feel like a dickhead. Yeah, so, so I feel like I would just yeah. be like, shout out to my family, shout yeah. out to all the homies. And that's it. I keep, okay. keep yeah. it. Okay. Who stay. are those people you can't leave out? Fuck. I don't know. That's a good question. That, yeah. That, instead, of, instead of money, because I don't want to put it on money, like, who are those people you can't leave out in your Hall of Fame speech? To be honest, this motherfucker going to say nobody. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me, myself, and I. Nah, I, I got maybe like a, two handfuls of people I could probably name. That's it. Two? <laughs> What? I what never a strange seen two, amount. Yeah, I never two seen handful? two people. What say is two, two handful? handful? Ten a people. A dozen? You mean Ten people. That? Okay, name them. If uh, you're kind, you know. Like, name them full name? Yeah, name the birthday. No, I'm not gonna Idiot. And the no, social like, security. Who are they? No, yeah, who are they? Uh, so I got three homies I went to back back in middle school with. I'm so close with, close with all of them right now. Uh, there's like probably like a few homies I went to college with. <laughs> Uh, this is you're about to. It's more than ten at this point. How no, many is a few homies from college? So three from middle school. Uh huh. Homies from college, I'd say like six in total, including Brandon. So that's not your people. family. Uh, for, <laughs> he said, "Fuck my family. No, no, you, Fuck them niggas." He, he said, "Excluding family, like ex- excluding okay, excluding family." Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Probably like, and then, and by, I say homies. I mean like close, close homies. Right. Like. I talk a bunch, like I always fuck around all the time, so like I'm friendly with like a lot, a lot of people. Yeah. But like, and even for, for some people from middle school, I still know this day, but like I'm not close, close to them. Mm-hmm. So to me, it's like, yeah, probably like, besides regarding family, uh, yeah, probably got like nine, nine people, twelve people. What about you? Uh it's. Let me say, hold on. Uh, outside of family. You counting sheep. <laughs> yeah, I gotta remember. Hold on. Four. It's the four homies. They one shit. Uh, them two. That's six. Uh, se- hold on. Seven. I'm on clue. Hold on. Seven. It's like seven people, yeah. Yeah, seven people. Yeah. I hope you feel like I got a lot. Not like a lot, a lot, but like, is it excluding immediate family or excluding all family? You can include who it's just your list of like this, these. It's just it, for, we can include family. It's just like these are the people that help me get to where I'm at today. Yeah, you know what I mean. For sure, like everybody that we work with here, like y- y'all for sure. Uh-huh. Um, my my brother, I guess, but excluding my family, like I'm close with like a lot of my cousins. Like a lot of my cousins really like held shit down for me. Uh-huh. So like for sure all them and then I got a lot of homies that like I know for like years. My barber for sure. Uh-huh. Shout out to my barber. So overall, I'd probably have like. Closer to 20, probably. Okay. Yeah. So those 20 people, out of those 20 people, yeah. let's say they call you <laughs> at 2 a.m. and shit while he's on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they call you on the phone. They're like, bro, I'm in county jail. You got to come bail me out, bro. Should we make it happen. All 20? All 20. Woo, yeah, shit. All, all on the same night? Same night. Fuck. Some way, somehow, we're going to make it happen. Okay. Because the seven, if they call me... uh yeah, I'm going to come get them and pay the bail. So that's what I'm saying. I think it depends on my nine. Um, and the nine that call me. I know he ain't bailing me it, out. It depends. Yeah, it depends. Yo on ass sleep, bro. It, 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 stop. Like, it, it depends stop. On, it depends on what they in for. Like, what do you mean it depends what they in for? It shouldn't matter. Nah. Okay, what crimes? <laughs> this is a better some, question. Some yeah. What in. crimes? Uh, yeah, yeah. What crimes? Uh, so, yeah. If Brandon was like put in jail for streaming some shit and like he wouldn't, wouldn't get away from the crime scene. They're like, yeah, you're interfering with our fucking investigation. He's like, yeah, bro. They told me to leave, but I was like, nah, I'm, I'm a streamer. I gotta stream this shit. No, I'm like, yeah, you're first sitting, amendment. You know, Why? Was, we literally like, get paid for that shit. I, I literally be like, yeah, you sit in two hours in jail. I come get you in like this time. Uh huh. Hold on, I'm about to meet a guy for IS300. I'll call you out there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, no, nah, yeah, like if, if they were like, oh yeah, dude, like I can't do this or like. I need this type or like, hey, I'm in jail, but I want, I need to get out, whatever. I think all nine would be. Yeah, my 20 is like, bro, I don't care if, if I get a call. I'm like, yeah, he just killed 20 people. He was wilding out. I'm like, fuck. Bond him out. I need to hear from him. I need to hear it from their mouth. Bro. <laughs> what was it, bro? Why'd you crash out like that? If you crashed out. Yeah, I'm going to bail you out and then ask you what the yeah, fuck are you exactly. doing, bro? It's like, yeah. we'll have that conversation behind closed doors. But yeah. like in public, it's like, I got to do right by you type yeah. shit, you know? Okay. That's a good, yeah. But that's. That's what I want to ask y'all in the comments, like, 
Who's y'all list? If y'all yeah, put it in the comments, man. Who, yeah. Who's your Who's your day ones, man? Tag day your day one. Type one. Matter of fact, tag your day ones so they tag, know. Yeah, also, actually, also, also Facebook, yeah, also Facebook, ones. also Facebook, top eight, top five shit. Yeah, tag MySpace, your top, MySpace, yeah, MySpace, yeah. MySpace, my fault. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tag, tag your fucking top eight. Yeah, right now in the comments. <laughs> they should bring that back, honestly. Dude, there'll be so many no, right. fights, bro. Like for TVH. No, the top eight shit. Oh, my fault. Yeah, on Instagram. Imagine they had that shit on Instagram, bro. And you oh, just go on someone's profile and be like, these are top eight friends. Instead of instead of that shit, like, what, what is it like where people playing music now and statuses? Oh, the notes? Oh, yeah, the notes. That shit is whack, That bro. shit is garbage. Like, take just post to your story. Yeah, Fuck, we got take that off. For. My, to, to Mark Zuckerberg, take that shit off and put up a top eight. Facts. Instagram going to be popping again. Watch. Facts. It's literally a story, is it not? Yeah, no, yeah, it is. At that point, it's like, it the fuck is. is it it's there, the same bro? Way, yeah, yeah. it's, like, you know, it's people, actually worse because you can't add pictures. You can't do like yeah. other shit. No, I, I, like even when people want to do notes back then, they, they always took like a picture of like a black screen. They put the phone like against the pillow, so it's all black. Take a picture and put like, oh, should I do this? Or no, because they don't know how to type. You have to click the little A at the top and type out. It's it, dude. It's I don't. Know, I don't like notes. I'm just like. Whatever. And now they put like you could put notes on photos. Oh, it seems that's, like yeah, that's I, it's I, just I, getting when, weird. When that bro. shit uh, dropped, I was like, "What the fuck is it?" I thought I was hallucinating. I was like, "What the fuck is wrong with my phone?" Yeah, nah, I, I hate when people put like music on their notes, and I'm just like, "I'm not gonna fucking listen to it." First of all, fuck your little weak ass Second song. All, like, fuck your friends' mixtape, bro. <laughs> yeah, I ain't listen to that weak like, ass shit. What made y'all want to put up music on here? Like, <laughs> the fuck. Uh, it's, you know what it is I think social media we just there's no more like we don't have any fresh ideas anymore yeah like how many true. more like everything just became the same thing that yeah. ass it's like Twitter is the same as like did you Instagram, ever think Facebook was Facebook. gonna have fucking eBay right nah that shit was crazy let alone have someone fucking hooked on that shit at 2am at 2am for 2am some little crackhead motherfucker yeah. in a different country scrolling, scrolling that, shit. that shit I'm looking for the deals in Mexico and what oh if, look a haircut yeah. for five dollars <laughs> Bro, uh, bro, he goes back to Mexico. Oh, okay, this is a good deal. It's the barber again. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I'm not going back to the barber again. No, you got to go back. Got to reunite. For the video, man. Yeah. But for personally, for the never. video, yeah, you got to go back. That should be hilarious. He's going to bring bodyguards. I'm never leaving. Where, like, if we could pick one city in America to go to. Brazil. To, like, in America. You're saying you know, as a group or as just As a group to stream, like, to make content. Oh, to make content. Bot Might, more. Uh, we're going bot no, more. We, no. I feel like Atlanta would be Aaron, lit. Aaron, Aaron. Atlanta. No, nah, Atlanta. Okay, I've been trying to. If we can like get an Atlanta trip before the year's over, Atlanta. I'm down. Just I'm gonna get my own hotel room because y'all crazy. Nah, yeah, right? for sure. Me too. Yeah, Fuck I'm going. Right? <laughs> I'm not. Nah, I feel like Airbnb y'all. would be better. We get a big ass Airbnb. Everybody has their own room. I that guess. way we all like because we actually make content in there too. Ooh, yeah, I nah, guess so. Yeah, like on some, on some, on some amp pass. shit. On some amp shit. Yeah. Yeah, for the content. Yeah. For the content, share a room with Noah. Nah, you don't want to share room with me, bro. I'm regular as shit, but nah, I'm just, I need my space. Atlanta, though, I'm down. What would we do in Atlanta, though? We got to, like, I feel like we got to figure out, like, if somebody would let us record down in Atlanta or, like, a music festival or something. We got to reach out to something and make Marty it make Gras. sense. That's in New Orleans, dumbass. Nah, I'm saying we could go to Mardi Gras, though, in New Orleans. But that's in, like, March of next year. Yeah. We were yeah, talking I feel about like Atlanta. It has to be like, yeah. But it got to make sense for like the pod shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, I just feel like, bro, like when we live stream, like it's the funniest <laughs> shit ever, bro. <laughs> on, on, on the run, Magic City. Tyler, imagine. Bro, if we take him to Magic City. He'll crash out. He go crash out. Oh. Yeah. Like little guy at the Peppermint Hippo. <laughs> he gonna be like, grab my beard, grab my beard. <laughs> Speaking of people shaking ass, though, y'all seen uh, Meg Thee Stallion at the Kamala Harris <laughs> Perfect. Rally? That's why we're talking about strip clubs. Yeah. Perfect transition. W yes, host. I did. She did that shit in a pantsuit. That's crazy. Is crazy it crazy, work. though? What is, what is Meg? I'm pretty sure Meg Thee Stallion cannot How else are we going to get black votes? Nah, that's crazy. How's that's that crazy? crazy? Nah, that's crazy. How's that crazy? Uh, How's that crazy? Because why, why would black people only vote for Meg Thee Stallion? Because she's, she's twerking. Nah, who else, that's who insane. Who else is Kamala gonna get on stage? She brought Meg the Stallion and Quavo out. No, she could, like the thing is, though, it's like why are we why are we bringing people on stage? On both sides, I'm not saying because it's Kamala Harris. On both sides, like because Trump been doing that shit, Tweety yeah, like rappers, music. whatever. What I was like, fuck? I don't know. Why are we really like? What does a celebrity endorsement nah, really nah. mean in politics? No, no, no. Bro? You, you know what, what I think it is is like I was saying this. I don't know who I was talking this to, but uh. A lot of people, I think, in America now are so brain dead to like 
only do whatever their favorite streamer, whatever their favorite influencer, favorite celebrity does. It's always been like that. But I know, but it's, but it's like, like so severe it's now. It's so feel. severe yeah. now to me where it's like, how many people like, like just because LeBron will like drink out of a Sprite fucking can, right? Where the Sprite sells gold. Oh yeah, I'm getting that Sprite right? cranberry. And it's boy. like, he doesn't even need to say, oh, give me that Sprite cranberry, right? All he needs to do is actually drink from it. It's only because it became a meme. Well, yeah. <laughs> it, could, it could be anything, really. Yeah, and yeah. It's like, as long as people associate, like, and I've never really had this type of issue, and I always thought it was kind of weird, when people, like, idolize, like, celebrities. When they're like, oh, yeah, I have to see this guy every single time he performs, anything he does, I support. If he d- drops his clothing brand, I'm getting all the pieces Yeah, like, motherfuckers fainting for a whole human yeah. being is like, insane the, to, to be me. honest, do you know what we talked about the Michael Jackson shit back then? Like, in the other? <laughs> yes, I remember. I never would get that at all. When people were fainting for him and shit, I would be like, that's weird. That's but Mike, bro. But that's, that's, that's not the point. The point is, like, if they see, like, Quavo pop up or Meg Lee Sally, and they're like, oh, I love Meg Lee Sally. Oh, oh, and they associate with Kamala Harris, come back your time, Kamala Harris is getting voted. I and mean, to me, it's just like, it's dumb. But that's why the reason why I think they bring it out or bring people out like that. I mean, yeah, that's the reason. But like, how much of a bot do you have to be for there to just be a person? You're like, hey, I'm I'm signing my life away because because Magda Stallion says so. Hey, well, the, the the way I see it, it's like, okay, imagine this. I I only became eligible to vote four years ago. Okay, which means people who are like what eighteen now, literally are COVID kids. Kids. Yeah, they have no like kids, life experience kids who were, at like, all, in bro. Freshman in high school, yeah. eighth grade. Yeah, I see what you're saying. And all they did was spend time on the internet. Mm-hmm. These people are like, oh, oh, anything in the internet, any like who I like, anybody who does this does that. And that was that's how I got out of COVID. Mm-hmm. So to them to see like Megan Thee Stallion, for them to see Quavo, for them to be like, oh, he likes Kamala Harris. Oh, I judge what he says is good. Whatever. I bro. mean, that's just American culture. Period. I know, like, we I love celebrity. It. But all I gotta say like, is free Tory Lanez, baby. Free Tory Lanez. We ain't voting for no uh, Mega Stallion. Thanks. Fuck all that. Fuck I, all that. I guess. I, I was just gonna say, uh, what's it called? Um, whatever Tyler says, I'm, I'm down 100%. She's not even American, bro. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Can you do a Tyler dance? Oh, with the water? Hold on. This is my water bottle. Trying to chat. Hold on. <laughs> chat. I'm not gonna do the dance. Why? You, you want me to put water on my back? Yeah. Is it fucking... <laughs> chat. Chat. <laughs> Did you see that happening? <laughs> no way. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't see that. No, no, no. You had way more pause moments this episode than what I did. I was just being funny. <laughs> Actually, you said a barber smacked your shit. He did. <laughs> Yo. All right. What? Oh, no, that's kind of nuts. Oh, no, bro. <laughs> oh, no. Super nuts. Oh, no. But, yeah, I don't know, bro. Like, this whole infatuation with celebrities, I, I feel like it can't lead to a good place. There's just no way. There's no way we can elect a person that's gonna make actual laws. We already that's, did. I know, but I'm saying like, there's no way we can still do that shit, bro. We can't keep doing this dumbass shit of being like, people's lives are actually changing. I know we spoken before, and I'm like, yeah. At the end of the day, yeah, you're still gonna have to wake up every day, go to work, or whatever. But these are still the people that are like the face of the country. These are still the people that are actually making changes that are. We're either gonna make our lives more difficult or easier to live. Yeah, listen, and we're uh, voting them based off who the fuck who your friends are, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, listen, this shit is listen, so stupid. Listen, when y'all vote in November, y'all do n- okay. Have you voted ever? Yeah. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I voted last last election. Okay, that was the first time I became eligible. Okay, uh, on the rest of the ballot, y'all know it's local politicians yeah. and all that shit. Y'all gotta focus on that. Stop worrying about because uh, all God honesty, is your life really gonna change if Trump becomes president? I could. And it's not but even it, to me. To me, it's not even like our <laughs> lives are gonna change. Because I don't want the homie to go back to Tijuana. Right. <laughs> but to me, it's cut. like yeah. even even to some extent, when we do vote for that, when we do whatever, right. It might not affect us the worst, right? Yeah. Sure, I'm gonna still kick it with the same people. I'm still have to come to the fucking studio and record. Still gonna have to stream. Still gonna have to <laughs> yeah. do all that shit. But where it does make a difference is who are these people sending money to? 
What countries are these people sending money to? What countries are these people sending weapons to? What yeah. wars are we entering? What innocent people around the world are dying because of the decisions of these people? And it's easy for us to sit in America and be like, oh, well, life is good. Life, they don't really change. Oh, yeah, Meg Thee Stallion on stage. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, yeah, uh, Trump got these rappers on stage. Uh, who's his name? Sleepy Hollow. Ha, ha, ha. Like, it's cool, <laughs> right? Too, too it's cool. Quantity, yeah. It's funny. Yeah, but motherfuckers are really getting blown up around the world. No, but like, like right. parents are you're losing right. their children. Like people <laughs> I, are losing their homes. Like it's really wicked out there. But we get to sit in the belly of the beast and be like, oh, it's all no, fine. Like what, what I think it is is that when we elect the president, we don't see the immediate effects of it, and we will almost never see immediate effects of what the presidency does. And that's because whatever president do get elected is a smaller impact on our initial lives. But when we see it, like. Who, who we go into war with like i know we haven't had like a world war in like about what 80 90 years now from now whatever I mean, we don't but, know that it's just it's not called a world war but it might true. later yeah but but it's like whatever whatever trump does has an effect <clears throat> that we won't see in a little bit yeah whatever biden has done we won't see effect until in a little bit right but it's always like like you said oh well when biden was president all i did was go to work yeah, my gas prices went up, but really, what else happened? Yeah. Like your day-to-day -day life didn't really go up. When Trump was president, what really happened in your day-to-day -day life? And a lot of Americans are like, oh, it doesn't matter. But in reality, it does matter. Like you said, what's happening around the world? What wars are we getting into? Who are we sending money to? Because that's influencing a lot of other world decisions, right? It's like other countries <laughs> that are like saying like, hey, like, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> no, I'm not laughing. I'm laughing because like... You just turn into like an ABC News correspondent all of a sudden. I'm listening. I'm, I'm like, bro, this bitch clapping. I'm like, damn, Tijuana. the homie bitch is so smart as a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, wow. He I'm might like, be reading. Yeah, he might. <laughs> he might have a book damn. on his phone. No, but to me, it's like it's crazy because I think a lot of like us as humans, or especially in this generation, we look for immediate like. <laughs> all right, Benji Luther King, come on. Spit, nah, right. yeah, immediate yeah, no, gratification. Shit, though, no, you're we're right for immediate gratification. Like, look at our social media. Like, we could scroll endlessly, right? Yeah. So it means like, if I vote for Trump or if I vote for Kamala Harris, and I am able to see Megan Lee Stallion shake ass on screen, to me, I'm like, oh, cool, immediate gratification. That's who I'm going for. You know, that to me is that. That's what's scary to me. It's like, and and every generation, our parents' generation, our generation, and things for that matter. Like, we're always influenced by by something, and that people of higher powers always take advantage of in this case we're all on social media nowadays right like like you said social media is all kind of turning the same now right we got notes on shit shit like that but yeah. that means all no i i generally don't think a lot of people or a majority of our generation has a higher attention span than like a goldfish really like they see something they don't see they they don't like it they just swipe up right whereas like if you tell that to our parents they're been like yeah nah like i worked this job for 20 fucking years because like i don't want to get another job Right, whereas for us, it has benefits and disadvantages, right? Yeah. But we'll hop around and they'll, shit. They'll literally like look at. Oh yeah, them. fuck all that. Yeah, yeah. Like, motherfucker, we'll motherfuckers in our generation, they'll sign the job offer and already applying to, to already, already applying yeah. for another one the next uh, day. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. But, it but is that, what it but is. That's like that. Uh, I kind of did that actually, but, but that's but, a long story. But that yeah. attributes to our immediate gratification. Like we just got the job offer. What else can we do in this current moment? It does and doesn't right because it's like there's instances where that where it's like. Yeah, I'm doing it because I don't want to get fucked over, bro. Like, I'm not going to stick in the same job and get a 2% pay raise every three years yeah. when I could jump to another company and get a 10, 15% pay raise immediately, right? Yeah. There's pros and cons. The thing that gets me is we're, we ride, or not me, because I don't do that dick riding shit, but it's like people ride so hard behind these candidates, right? Oh, yeah. my God, Trump. Yeah. Oh, my God, Kamala Harris. Yeah. However you feel about them, as soon as they're elected, there's no more like people yeah. are stop like people are like oh yeah but we got our guy in so it's cool he could do whatever he wants now oh we got kamala in, so it's cool we could t take our foot off the brake she could do whatever she wants it's good now because we don't have trump or we, we have trump now it's good because we don't have kamala it's like bro you should be applying way more pressure when they get elected than yeah. before yeah, yeah this is just the start it's just a start yeah. and again to the point right it kind of all circles back because this algerian boxer Competed in tw Olympics of 2020, yeah. but it didn't happen in 2020. It happened in 2021. So nobody gave a fuck. It was right. silence. Right. Why is it such a big deal now? Because it became a political thing because we got to get our guy in office. We got to get Kamala in office. We got to get Trump in office. It's like, bro, y'all yeah. care so much right now. Wait till December. Y'all will be silent as fuck about any decisions these motherfuckers make. They can make the craziest laws ever. Y'all will be fucking silent, not saying shit. 
and be like, yeah, well, at least we don't have Kamala Harris. At least we don't have Donald Trump. It's like, bro. Yeah, because, I mean, at the end of the day, like, people, like, regardless whoever wins, like I, how you said earlier in the pod, it's just like, we still got to go to work. The world ain't really finna change that much for us, right? You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, the only thing we can do is vote, and then that's it. To so I, f- I feel what y'all say. Yeah, Trust yeah, yeah. me, I feel what y'all no, say. Yeah, 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 I agree with the you. The thing though. I hate about these fucking elections since like 2016. Remember, like before, I mean, maybe we were kids, so it didn't really impact us like that. But an election night would just be like, oh, you know, just turn on the news. Oh, okay, that's what's up. Do you remember keep on when, moving. Uh, the 2016 election. Who was the third candidate that was going for that? You got like nine percent. Uh, I don't know. It was like these nuts. I think was a. Uh, you don't remember didn't that? Get, he didn't get no 9%. Oh, I, oh you're saying... That was like a meme leading yeah, up was, to uh, it. Yeah, that was somebody was writing that on a ballot. Yeah. But... Kanye, it 2020. Uh, Were y'all in high school when uh, Trump got elected? Yeah. 2016? I was a junior... Or a freshman in uh, college. Yeah, that was when they had the, the... They actually had the debate at UNLV. At UNLV. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was... I was a, a freshman. Se- a senior? No. No, 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 no. I was a junior. I can't remember. But I, I just remember the morning after Trump got elected. You would have thought nuts. somebody yeah. died. Oh, yeah, my God. Like yeah. What the fuck? Crying? Who's yeah. Crying? People were crying. That for me, crying, yeah, yeah. yeah. I had crying. theater. I had theater because it was my first year. Uh-huh. And it's like they made us take theater for some reason. Uh-huh. But motherfucking bitches is in there crying and shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. dead ass sobbing, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. And there was this white kid. He was like, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. He ain't racist. <laughs> I was like, they all about to fight. Let me go to let me go to the bathroom. Nah. Some shit might really go down here. Nah, I had an econ uh test that day, the the, the morning after. And everyone was sad as shit, the whole shit. And my econ professor walks in, he's like, I told y'all this was gonna happen. I told y'all. I was like, bitch ass nigga, you didn't tell us nothing, bro. I've been taking your class in fucking August. You didn't tell us shit. What are you talking about, bro? Shut your ass up and give us these scantrons, bitch ass nigga. What the fuck? But yeah, that shit was sorry as hell when he got elected. I was just like, oh, y'all really sad, sad type shit. Like, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. I remember when people were saying, like, uh, that they didn't finish counting all the votes yet. So people were crying. They were like, no, don't worry. They didn't finish it. <laughs> nah, that shit is. That shit was all I knew that shit was all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 9 p.m. I was like, oh, it's a dub. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, you put up Hillary Clinton, bro. Like, yeah. you, can you really act surprised that she no, lost? The thing with Hillary, and this is why I was saying, like, a lot of people are brain dead about, like, who they vote for, is I remember, like, I know people who, back then, they were young, like, probably, like, 18, 19. Mm-hmm. But this is what I'm saying, like, they only voted for Hillary because she was a woman. That's it. Yeah. And it was all yeah, about, And they're going to do the same hey, thing again this time. First woman to be ever be a president, I'm just vote. I don't care what she says, whatever, I'm voting for Hillary because she's a woman. Yeah. To me, it's like... Don't get me wrong, like, that's very powerful to have a woman. No, it ain't. And to me, you know, it, like, if you're a woman and you've never had a woman ever be president, it will be powerful to you. Don't get me that wrong. But, oh, like, for no. you to bypass everything that she actually believes in, anything that she actually has, has done, you, you, have, you have no idea what she is actually going for. To me, it's wild, diabolical for that. But that's most people. Like, if you really, 90% know, know, of these people, if you go to a rally, whichever side you're on, mm. and you really sit down and you're like, why are you voting for this person? Like, what policies? Is it? Most of them are like, uh, 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 like they'll just repeat whatever they hear on social media. They don't really know. Yes. Most people don't really know, which is like really fucking sad. And all our vote counts the same, right? Yeah. Like, all our like votes okay, okay. We had this conversation yesterday with uh, Alfredo was in here. Shout out to our homie Alfredo mm-hmm. with one of his friends, right? And mm-hmm. he's applying for a job, whatever. I had a conversation. I basically told him, I was like, look, when you go to for the interview, you got to be confident. Mm-hmm. And I told him, I had a conversation. And I'm sure you, you guys have worked in a place with big offices before. Yeah. Is it not the case that if you work in a place where there's a lot of people, probably 80% of them are fucking bots. Like 80% of them, if they were replaced with somebody else, the very yeah. next day, the company would just march just fine. Nothing's changing at all. Yeah. Very few people are actually like making shit move in this world. Maybe very, very few people are actually using their fucking brain. Most people and it sucks to say most people are just marching by like a fucking robot oh, no, like day by day like yeah. oh I gotta go to the grocery store swipe my car <laughs> pay for these fucking groceries I gotta drive home oh how's it going living like the dream the, uh, like, like the, most um, people are bots and all our votes sounds the same and all these people are getting a decision on like what we do with our lives but the even crazier part is all those 80% think they're in the 20% you, you know what I think that's crazy. the craziest shit what I think shit. the craziest part about it is that like for those people that make the shit work, make the world move and all this stuff, to them, 
it doesn't really matter what the who the president is. It doesn't, yeah. Because they're gonna they're gonna they're we're, gonna like I said, yeah, we're doing our own shit anyway. The majority of people that should have uh, care about the president elections are the people who are live life on autopilot. And those are the people those that are, are fucking people that getting influenced like yeah. idiots. Like it, it, it's oh. like it's so flip flop on that aspect where it's like, like a lot of people like that's what I'm saying. Like for the Hillary stuff, I remember seeing like hearing that and I was just like, wow, like I can't believe like you're actually have the voting rights. I was I was I wasn't uh, old enough to be voting at that time. But I was just like, wow, you're only voting because she's a woman, and you influenced your cousins, your your sisters, your your family members, or you were influenced by them to be like, hey. I'm only going to vote for her because she's a woman and I hate Trump. Or I hate this person so much that I'm just going to vote for this person. To me, there's no way you put up Hillary, Biden, and then Kamala. Like, that's your three, Pete. That's like your three. Like, you, you're supposed to win an uh, NBA championship with these three. Like, that's your core, bro. Like, the fuck? Can we not do fucking... Is there not somebody else, any human on this whole country that's more capable of the bro? Like, there isn't? Jay-Z? I'm bullshitting y'all. I'm sorry. Like there isn't like yeah. Hillary, Biden, uh, Kamala. That's your big three. I mean, that ain't my choice. I don't Fuck, know. Fuck, man. I, I have a good question though. Go, go ahead. Does on the run have like a a business email? Uh, yeah. Okay. You get an email from Kamala Harris election campaign at gmail dot com. Shit's a and they ask, she ain't got no fucking Gmail, bro. Whatever she got, yeah, y'all know what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Brandon, we're fans of the podcast, especially fans of that guy. Name no, three he's episodes. Hilarious. Yeah, name three episodes. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we we need some promo for for uh, you know what I mean. We'll, nah, we ain't doing no promo. You can we'll, sit down. You can come have a conversation. So we're not gonna take money from Kamala Harris's nah, campaign. Nah. Uh, th- I think it depends. I if I know it is up to you, Brad. But like to me, it's like. If, she, if she's like, yeah, yeah we need might, a team vote on that one. Hold she, on now. She's like, hey, if we can get a promo, I'll be like, nah. Like, if she wants to come on in, y'all gonna turn down. No, the it fucking... If she wants to come on in and have a conversation, shit, I'll take money for that. Get like, the yeah. fuck, y'all not turning down the fucking. I am. I, you want get the fuck? I, you're I, lying. I am. I on think, God, I am. Okay, okay, if she was like, yeah, I need both of you guys to go, like, go up. We're going. Well, I yeah, am. Now I'll be like, Noah could go. Noah can go. Yeah, <laughs> I, I ain't shit. going. No, I'm going no. to DC, baby. Come on. I ain't going. Bro. All right, I'm gonna be like, hey, going. y'all, it's a very special episode of On the Road. I ain't podcast. going for either. Well, Dude, Washington, I, don't, I ain't DC. going for either. As much as like, okay, I can respect that. I can respect uh, that. As much as like, I don't agree on certain things. I do agree on certain things. Like whatever my political views are which I would probably describe as closer to conservative than liberal, like, I would not accept. To me, that's like, bro, that means your word can be bought. And if your word can be bought, what value, what intrinsic value do you hold if somebody can just have enough money to buy you and be like, you're going to say whatever the fuck I want you to say? Mm -hmm. What value do you have at that point then? You know, to me, it's like, it would be one thing if they say, hey, we want to hire you. You can come perform. I don't know how that whole Quavo, Magistan shit went. Uh-huh. Whatever. Wherever, however it went, don't really care. Uh-huh. It would be one thing that, like, hey, you want to come perform this? You want to come speak at this? You want to come to this? Cool. But to buy my thing and be like, yeah, I will do this because you paid me? Can't do it. Because they're going to ask us eventually. I know. But that's <laughs> why I said, you can come here and have a conversation and uh-huh. we'll keep it as objective as possible mm-hmm. i'm not gonna come here and be like wilding out and you know doing some crazy shit for the views like mm-hmm. we'll have a conversation at the end of the day because i feel like that there's nothing more valuable than that if you're sitting here if you're really worthy of being the president you have nothing to be scared of you mm-hmm. will sit here and you answer these questions mm-hmm. same thing for me it's like imagine there was some kind of competition they're like oh hey we're gonna decide who's the official podcast of las vegas mm-hmm. are we gonna be like oh yeah i'm not gonna go bro we might get grilled up there no we're gonna get up get up go up there and be like yeah if we win we win if we don't we didn't deserve it. we didn't earn it but it at the end of the day you got to compete that's what it's about but it stopped becoming that it started being like a smear campaign what can i say about social media oh you backed out of the debate no you backed out of the debate oh well she has this well you have that well this and that it's like yeah. why don't we just fucking actually sit down and compete how we should compete yeah i don't know well fuck what they talking about uh to anybody who uh, is currently running for re-election or election right now please reach out to me i uh I'm trying to get my shit popping too. Shit, fuck it. Yeah, shit. I can't wait for him. You know <laughs> what I do want to interview on MSNBC. <laughs> what I do want to interview though is like we were talking about earlier. I don't know if we're gonna cut that part in or keep it in, but we're having Mayor 
how do you how would you call it mayoral elections? Yeah, mayor. Yeah, mayor. Yeah, We're mayor, basically electing yeah. a new mayor in Las Vegas for the yeah. first time. It won't be a Goodman. In our lifetime, because I remember I, we grew up with Oscar Goodman. Yep. Then we had his wife, Carolyn Goodman. Yep. So now... I met Carolyn Goodman. I met Oscar Goodman. Yeah. But now, yeah. But now, uh, you know, their time is up. They've served their uh, term. They're up to term limits. So now yeah. we're going to have a new mayor. Yeah. Uh, it's actually two females, I think, that are leading the race. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a female mayor again. Mm -hmm. But uh, I would love to have one, if not both of them on and yeah. ask them questions. Because I feel like... Most people who are in those positions, first, they're not usually from Vegas, like born and raised. Mm -hmm. And second, they're usually way older. Mm -hmm. So to actually have a conversation with people that are raised here. I know you, you weren't born here, but you were basically raised here. I'm like, Vegas. Your yeah. whole life, yeah. bro. Yeah. To have people that went to school here. We all went to UNLV. Um, we work here. We have a business here. Like, we're actually like. We're from Vegas. Yes. We're people know as close here. to like the average Vegas person or like the median Vegas person as you can really get. Yeah. Like we cover all the spots, you know, we're minorities, we have black, we have Hispanic. So we why have don't everything. we just run for mayor then? Fuck it. I don't know if there's a uh, age uh, limit. Okay, maybe like in a few if there years. there is, but we are though. Yeah. I do want it. I want to be mayor of Vegas one day. Yeah. But uh, for sure, uh, if they're watching this or if you know them, whether it's mayor, even congresswoman, Whatever, Anybody that's running for re-election right now in Vegas. Yeah. Let us know, man. Tap election. in. Let's do an interview. And yeah, y'all got anything else to share? Oh, I got something. What's uh, up? I think this month, it, it, speaking of Vegas, it'll be 20 years I've lived in Vegas. Damn. Damn. It's fucking Unk. crazy, cuz. Unk. I'm, I unk. fucking hate this unk word. I was trying to get sentimental on here. Y'all talking about some damn unk. Unk is sentimental. Hey, you want some nah, no, we good, good, brother. Yeah. 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 What are talking about? Uh, we're just talking about like right now we're talking we're about we're talking about um, the political and economic yeah. state of the world <laughs> yeah 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 appreciate, appreciate you <laughs> the fuck <laughs> what the fuck was that that, that was un he was that, trying to say airpods I should say yes no <laughs> Hey, no, on, no, I don't need no airpods <laughs> where the fuck did he get air? what the fuck was that oh. yeah bro I saw uh, that I saw that in all like slow motion. Like I seen him in the door and I'm like, is he grabbing like, the door? I was like, nah. Yeah. Come in. We need better security, bro. <laughs> what security can we have? Lock the door for I guess, all? yeah, we could have locked the door. Yeah. Fucked up. But hey, it's funny. Anywho, though. That's a funny ass moment. That was random as fuck. This really that was that was not planned. So I don't know if the mics picked it up, but the guy said, Do you guys want to buy AirPods? And then he said no. And then he's like, What are y'all y'all doing a podcast? What are y'all talking about? Yeah. It's funny as fuck. But anyways, twenty years since you've been here. Yeah. How 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 does that feel? Unk. Uh yeah, it definitely makes me feel like unk. Well, I'm only 28. I'm not unk unk. But All right, that's a better question. At what age do you become unk? Uh, like 30, 35. Or when you start? Oh, I know when it's. I feel unk. like 32. No, 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 no. I know when it's unk. When that when your shit start thinning. That's what unk. about people that got I'm good bad. genes though? This motherfucker's a weirdo. Anywho, <laughs> for, for though y'all can't see, but he keeps he like he walk back. back yeah. yeah. Uh, anywho, I'm sorry. What'd you say? I, don't know. I said I feel like 32, but you said when this shit starts thinning. Yeah, when you start yeah. looking like unk, that's when you unk. What about people that have like good genes though, or what about people yeah. that have shitty genes that their shit starts thinning young? Like motherfuckers be like 19, shit already. Yeah. So, do you have any bald homies? Nah, yeah. bald homies. Like people that Ooh. are bald, that like, are they their shit is thinning, receding? Like, do we? Uh, not young ones. Not young ones, not like that. Yeah, I don't know, but I mean, twenty years is it's crazy. But I still, honest to God, like I still can't really believe I live here. Type shit. Like I don't. If you told me some of the shit I would have did when I was eighteen, no, I'm sorry. Some of the shit I'm doing not like at eighteen. Yeah. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't believe it. I never thought I'd be on a fucking podcast. People be watching this shit. And Yo, you know, we're actually global. Like, that's the shit that blows my mind. How the fuck do we got listeners are from we all like over global, the world? Like, like, repeated listeners global type shit? Like, it's like, shit, the stats are there. The stats don't lie. Do motherfuckers just be randomly clicking or are they like, uh, it's a motherfucker in Australia right now. Fuck mm -hmm. with our shit. It's, the map says what the map says. You know what? I think for me, it's like when people locally fuck with our shit. Nah, that's always going to be the best. Like, has anybody ever ran up on you and said they were listening to the pod that you didn't expect them to? It's like a few people. Like, I give you that. Like, I was at, on the arm recently. Shout out on the arm. And Mikey's mom said I was, I was, she, she was talking about listening to the episode, but since it's so long, 
she still has like a few hours left and i'm like it's a five hour episode I, yeah i'm like i'm yeah. like what the f that's crazy and she's just telling me like oh you know like these shoes over here those are his baby shoes and she showed me baby pictures of mikey i'm like fuck? that's crazy no it's like it's a whole it's, documentary it's, yeah, yeah 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 she was like corroborating stories that we were talking about on the pod i'm like that's fucking wild like to have people really fuck with our shit type nah, shit for real you know I mean? and i feel like the better interviews because we've definitely gotten better at being interviews but also the quality has been better the interview like the people that we talk to are better mm -hmm. i feel like the more we progress it's like imagine I, when we have like real big ass guests, i feel like, like i feel like doing podcasting is like it's almost on some like video game like unlocking characters type shit you know yeah. what i'm saying it's like you gotta like level up yeah and then there's like some parts where it kind of just dead and you're like fuck we're not growing and then yeah, one damn, big episode boom. blows shit yeah. up yeah y'all see Nell copy our shit with they the flags they didn't, they didn't copy nah they bro. copied our shit but we put that episode Where's out the first oh, so it's they're in the back in there, but yeah, we got the man. nevada and the usa flags on the back of our set and they just did a podcast with jd vance i think it's at the red rock because it, it's obviously here in vegas because they got the nevada flag yeah. what i see now was like is that the nevada flag I was like, what the fuck podcast is this? And I was like, oh, shit, is Nelk. And I remember they're always at the Red Rock. So they probably did it there. We should just collab with them. Not for real. You got to get that UFC Dana White fucking collab. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Fuck. I forgot what I was going to say. But yeah, OTR, baby. We be doing it big. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't got no more topics. I'm <laughs> yeah, that's it for me, too. You got anything? No, that's it. No, let them know where they can find you on social media. Oh, me? Oh, y'all can find me on everything at in the number two D-A-T-K. Yeah, that's it. Ocho Benji. Uh, follow my Instagram. is at A-K-B-T-G. Follow the Instagram for the podcast on run.pod. Listen and rate the show on Spotify. That really does help a lot, man. That will push our episodes on Spotify to a bunch of people. Uh, shout out to everybody that fucks with the episodes. Subscribe to the YouTube uh and then kick we're gonna start a live stream on kick where i am at least uh desktop streams irl streams just trying to get a bunch of content a lot of clips kick.com slash otrb appreciate y'all for rock with us man we'll see y'all next week for another episode man peace, peace.